All right, so this is the first video in a series I'm making about how to design PCBs uh, and specifically a little uh, three by three numpad um, that uses an Arduino as a controller. Um, how to automate the design of that using KiCad and some Python scripting. And so there's already a lot of good tutorials out there about how to use KiCad in a more traditional way. So I'm not really gonna go over that. The basic workflow is pretty similar to other PCB design programs in that you have uh, your schematic editor where you can uh, say, add a couple parts by clicking uh, what you want. You know, select these. Uh, and then you just drag all your connections, all your wire connections like this. Um, and then you would tell KiCad what uh, actual physical uh, representation of this you want, what footprint you want, and then you can go over to your PCB editor and uh, it'll load those footprints and you'll route the whole thing. But you don't actually have to do it that way. Um, another way you can do it is you can generate netlist which is just a list of all your uh, components and the connections they have. And then you can go up here and load your netlist there. So that's what we're gonna go over in this video. So the way we're gonna generate that netlist is through a nice Python library called Skittle, uh, S-K-I-D-L. And if you don't have it installed already, um, you can just pip install it. So there, mine's already installed. Um, And so let's just uh, start a new script. Let's call it pcb.py. Um, and the first thing we need to do, right, is uh, import the library, uh, import skittle, or actually let's, let's import all the functions from the library. So from skittle, import everything. So uh, one thing that's a little different about skittle is you have to set an environment variable to point it to where your uh, KiCad symbols are. Um, so it's pretty straightforward to do that. You can just import OS and then set the environment variable with os.environ. And then the variable we want to set is kicad symbol dir. And we want to, the default location on Linux is uh, user share KiCad library. I'm not sure what it is on Windows, um, but the command would be something similar. Uh, get rid of this I here. Okay, so now we've imported the library. Now let's uh, create a board with, or a netlist rather, with just a single component on it. Um, but how do we know what components we have available? So. We've got this library uh, you can see in our uh, KiCad window, simple.lib, simple.lib. So let's go ahead and um, let's take a look at that. Let's see what that looks like. Um, okay, so the highlighting is a little weird on this, um, but so this is pretty much the simplest that a .lib file can be. So there's just a couple things you wanna pay attention to. So We've got the name, that's what we'll call in the code. Um, so it's just called a resistor. And then R here, that's um, your abbreviation on the board. So on the board, it'll enumerate R1, R2, R3, stuff like that. Uh, resistor is what it'll be named on the board if you don't have like a, a value for it already. And then uh, these two lines are the pin definitions. So this is just a device with two pins. It's just a simple resistor. Um, and we will call these pins uh, by their pin numbers right here. It's also possible to call them by their pin names, but just to keep it simple, we'll just call it from pin one and pin two. And the rest of these numbers uh, just have to do with definitions if you're gonna um, use the schematic editor, but since we're skipping that step entirely, they're, they're not relevant. Um, and you don't even have 
to edit them at all if you want to do stuff like add more pins. Anyway, so to add a part using the Skittle library, let's add a test resistor zero. We'll do comma equals, and then you do one times part. And then the way you uh, specify your part is first you call what library you want it to come from. So let's actually make a variable up here. Let's call active lib equals simple. And you don't need the dot lib extension. It'll work fine without it. So we're say our part is from active lib. And then we'll say what part do we want? Well, we've only got one thing and it's called resistor. And then we'll call this third argument. I don't remember what it does actually. Um, it's called template. I always leave it as template. I haven't touched it yet. Um, if you know what it does, maybe you can leave a comment. And then the last thing you want to do is specify what footprint you want. So this will be what, it, what the component actually looks like uh, on the board. So the way you do that, you can go to uh, over here to this little footprint symbol um, or you can go to tools and then edit PCB footprints. That'll open it as well. And so we want a resistor. Technically any uh, two pin part will work for this. Um, but we're doing this with a, with a resistor. So let's choose a resistor footprint. This one looks fine. And so the way you call this um, is you call the top level part. So you call a resistor SMD. And then you colon and then you put the part in that you want. So we're going to just use this top one, uh, R0201. Type that in and then your part has been created. And now if you run this uh, right now, the program will generate a part, but it won't actually generate a netlist. So let's call. So probably at the end of all your Skittle scripts, you'll want the generate netlist function. And it, it uh, has some default file name, but if you want to specify it, you can put uh, file underscore equals and then whatever file name you want. So let's do a video.net. And the uh, KiCad will recognize .net files. So now if we run, go over to our terminal here, I'm gonna quit out of this and then let's do uh, Python, just run this script. Okay, no errors or warnings, that's good. And now you see it shows up in our browser uh, on the top right. So now let's open up our PCB layout editor. Um, and we can go to uh, netlist or load netlist, or you can go to tools and then load netlist. Okay, so it sees that we've got a .NET file. We can update the PCB, close that. And now we've got a, a netlist that just has a single resistor, no value, so it's just named resistor. Um, and there you go. So that's pretty boring though, right? Just one component, no connections. There's not really any point of making a PCB for that. So let's do something a little more interesting. So let's just delete that. Let's make a board that has two resistors um, and some connections between them. So here I'll just instantiate another part, another resistor. Uh, we can leave everything else the same. And then, so the next thing I wanna do is maybe wanna assign some values to these, right? So test resistor zero dot value. Uh, let's make that one 100. And I think these have to be strings and not numbers. And then let's set resistor one value to 220. Just make it something different. And then the way you make connections is you first define a net and then you add pins to the net. So if we wanna connect pins one and two, uh, let's make a net called, gr called ground and add those two pins to that. So 
let's say g and d equals net. And then in here you put the name that will actually show up that will actually show up on the PCB. So let's call it GND. And then we'll make another one. Let's call it uh, VN. And we'll call it VN. And now to add stuff, um, we can just do GND plus equals test resistor zero. And then we say what, what pin we want. So we want pin one um, to be added. And then we'll do the same thing for test resistor one. So now both pins are added to this net, which means they should be connected. Now let's add, uh, connect the other two pins. So VN, so if you wanna connect everything uh, just in one line, you can also do it like this. So you can do test resistor, zero. So when I connect pin two, then the other pin when I connect is on the other resistor. Like that. And so uh, this line here effectively does the same thing um, as separating out into two lines. So just however you want to do that. So now let's write that. Um, and then let's run it again. Okay, no errors or warnings, that's good. Now we can go up uh, tools, load netlist. Let's update PCB. We saw some stuff here in the top right there. And there we go. So we've got a new uh, board. So I'm just gonna move this around. If you, if you don't know uh, KiCad, if you select something and press M, you can move it around. Okay, so this is good so far. We've got R2 with a value of 220, um, as we see there. And then we've got R1 with 100. And then you also see that um, pin one is connected to GND, just like we said. And uh, the pin twos are both connected to the N. So that's how you generate net lists and uh, load them into KiCad. And from here, you can uh, go on and route them and uh, move stuff around where you want it. And in the future videos, I'll show you how to uh, place all your components where you want them um, using Python. And then we, I'll also go over how to uh, use the free routing auto router. And eventually, oh, we can have everything scripted and uh, not need to do any operations in the GUI. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any comments.